today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make fresh pasta using a few ingredients. All you need is flour and some fresh eggs and a little bit of salt. So today I want to show you how to make homemade pasta. Homemade pasta is really easy to make. It only takes two ingredients and if you have fresh eggs from your chickens or ducks, I'm going to use duck eggs today, but it's the same technique. You're doing yourself a real disservice if you don't try making your own pasta at least once because it really couldn't be easier. So I already measured out my flour because I don't want to show you what a mess I make when I measure flour. So I've done that. So what you want to do is you want to start with a clean uh, cutting board, countertop, whatever it is that you're going to be working on. And you're going to measure out two cups of flour. You can use regular regular flour, um, any kind. Some people like to use semolina flour, but regular flour is fine. And then the normal recipe calls for uh, three chicken eggs, but since I'm using duck eggs, uh, two duck eggs are equal to three chicken eggs. So I'm going to just use two duck eggs. You can break them right into your flour or you can uh, break them into a little bowl. There's two duck eggs. And I like to make my pasta just a little bit creamier. So I'm going to add one extra yolk here. So we've got our two whole eggs and then an extra yolk. So you want to sort of make a little well in the middle of your flour, sort of like a little volcano. And then just take your eggs and drop them in like that. To the side. And then with a fork, you're just going to start incorporating the egg into the flour. So it sort of all kind of stays. And you can do it with your fingers, you can do it with a fork, but basically you just want to kind of incorporate it all in. So you make a dough. Take a couple minutes. Just kind of keep stirring. Now, some people add salt to their pasta. I don't prefer to do that. I cook the pasta in salted water instead. Um, it's just a personal preference. Some people add olive oil or another kind of oil to their pasta, but um, Again, personal preference. I just use the I just use the egg and the flour. So once you've sort of got it going, nobody ever said it was going to be neat. You can see the beautiful color here that's starting to come out because of the color of the yolk of our duck eggs. You really just want to keep working it until you get it all into a one cohesive dough ball. It's pretty sticky. I wouldn't add any more flour at this point though, once you get it all incorporated. If you need to add more flour, you can do that. Um, if it's a little bit too dry, you can add a little bit of water, you know, depending on the humidity in your house on the day you're making it. Um, but basically, two cups of flour and three chicken eggs or two duck eggs plus one additional yolk makes a nice dough. And you're, you're looking for sort of a, it's not going to be a soft dough like a cookie dough. I mean, it's going to be a bit more stiff than that. working it until you've got all the flour incorporated. Good idea actually to take your rings off <laughs> before you start so we don't get all kinds of dough stuck in them. So just keep working it until you get it into a, 
a good ball with all the um, all the flour incorporated. Okay, so we're back. We've been kneading for about 10 minutes. It really is a pretty good workout. And um, the dough is, it's all incorporated and it's pretty stiff dough as you can see. So now what we're going to do is just kind of flatten it a bit and then take a piece of plastic wrap and we're going to wrap in some plastic wrap and we're just going to let it sit and rest for about 30 minutes, a couple hours, um, you know, till dinner time, till you're ready to use it. So we'll just let that sit and we'll get what we need to finish off our pasta ready. And I will see you back here in about half an hour, an hour or so. Okay, so we're back and our dough has been resting for about an hour and uh, we've taken it out of the plastic wrap. At this point, you can roll it out using some flour on your board and with a sharp knife, you can cut it into your shapes. You can make uh, lasagna noodles, fettuccine, um, thinner, like, like a linguine type um, pasta shape ravioli of course um, but I have this little nifty pasta machine which I'm going to use so what you want to do um, I started out on a fairly wide setting and you just want to take a bit of your dough maybe um, I don't know tennis ball size a little a little smaller maybe and Kind of get it so it's thin enough, and then you're just going to. You just roll this. It can be a little tough at first. You roll your pasta through. Of course, it would be better if everything were rolled to down here. So you, you've got it rolled through, and you just want to run it through a few times. It just goes easier. And then you just kind of adjust here. You can put it in a little bit thinner and roll it through again. Keep rolling it through. Really, it's not very right. sturdy. Um, you just keep rolling it through. Once it goes easy on the size you've got, you can make it a little bit thinner. There we go. not the best. I am not Italian by birth. Okay, so now we've got it fairly thin here, and what you want to do is you take off your little handle and you put it onto the cutter side, and I'm just going to run the pasta through, and it's going to cut it into Beautiful. Here we've got beautiful fettuccine. So at this point, um, you can lay them to dry. If you have a, a pasta dryer, you can use a clothes drying rack, the back of a chair even. Um, so if you're going to dry them to use them for later, you're just going to want to separate them all and, and hang them out to dry until they are dry. Uh, but if you're going to cook them right away, then you just plop them right into a pan of boiling water. Just for a couple minutes, salt the water. Um, this is where you want to add your salt. And uh, really, just a couple minutes and, and taste one. It's not going to take the seven or nine minutes that, that dry pasta takes. Um, you can also freeze the, the pasta as is and then use it later. But I, I like to just make it and then cook it up fresh. 
because it is so easy to make. So anyway, um, next time you're going to make, you know, spaghetti or, or linguine or, or uh, fettuccine with, with any kind of sauce, why not try making your own with your fresh eggs?